hello hello and welcome to my channel my name is Kat I am a part-time reseller out of North Florida I am a full-time nurse and also a mom and today I am going to show you guys what sold on eBay one item I paid less than a dollar I put it up on auction and sold for over a hundred dollars going to show you what that is and I'm going to tell you why I decided to put it up on auction so let's take a look All right, guys, so we have $1,170.82 going out on eBay today. These are weekend sales. Today is Monday. You will see this on Wednesday. So our average sales price is $43, which is awesome. I run about a $25 average sales price, and I'm trying to get that to $30, even $40 if I can. So we did do that this weekend, but you'll see that's because we do have some higher priced items that offset the low ones that the consistency of the low ones is what keeps our sales volume so high so first up this is a Avon little foaming bath oil so it can go first class if it's under a pound I have a feeling I might lose out on this um, I listed these when I was first getting back into reselling I didn't really have a handle on shipping very much have it at first class and I think it might weigh over but I paid about 50 cents for this and it sold for $6.47 plus shipping the buyers $12.22 all in up next and this is one of my little vintage pens pretty cool little Snoopy snow mist pen the pens if you don't know I bought a big lot of hats in an auction and almost all of them had these really cool vintage pens so I took the pens off the hat to sell them individually this one sold for $15 free shipping the buyer is $16 all in and that's because eBay is charging them tax so I didn't really pay anything for these because I was looking at the value of the hat but sometimes you have to look and pick apart what things might sell and those little pens sell for 10 to 15 bucks so the hat would sell for 15 to 20 and instead of getting 15 to 20 I'm getting 25 to 30 by selling the pen individually up next we sold four of these field wipes and I'm hoping these don't come back I don't want to open them because they are new sealed but my concern is they aren't as wet as they should be but I can't know that without opening them so yeah hopefully they don't come back if they complain I will just give them a refund on those so I paid less than 50 cents each they sold for $19.40 total that is a four pack and the buyer is $33.75 all in on those and then I did sell a three pack of CVS nasal mist for $14 that will be only about a three dollar profit we do not have a padded flat rate envelope still so we are having to send them priority and regular either boxes or bahalis whichever is cheaper and it's definitely more than a padded flat rate envelope is and then up next this is a really cool little pumpkin I'll turn it on so you guys can see it changes colors so this was in a box lot at an auction this is like a really simple little trinket um less than a dollar in because it wasn't a big lot and it sold for $12 plus shipping the buyer is $18 all in if you don't have Halloween stuff up and you have some I would suggest listing it now a bra this is a breezy bra I've had these a while they were on a QVC palette paid a couple dollars for them this one sold for $14.99 free shipping so we'll make probably about an $8 profit on that next and this one is super cute it's a little whale there um, I believe this is a Target brand. It is Vineyard Vines. It is. There's the tag on that. So I paid, it's like a little baby cuddle blanket. So you can see there, I paid 99 cents for that. It did take about six to seven months to sell. It sold for $16.19. Plus shipping, the buyer is $20.89 all in. Stuff like this is super easy. Just throw it in a poly and you're good to go next and I didn't show these completely last time and I don't have one put together to show you guys 
these are the face masks for CPR. They, oh, I have a broke one. So I have another one. That one broke. Oh, they're all broke. Um, I have more. <laughs> Anyways, these go together like that. And they are part of CPR mannequins that are used to train first responders, um, healthcare workers. I know that daycare employees also have to be trained. So this is the chest here and that head sits on top. And there is a plastic bag there that inflates, um, that hooks up to the head. So push down for your CPR there. And this is my last set of five. I do have about $10 in. They sold for $200 plus shipping the buyers. $273.75 all in. Up next are some Russell Wright plates. These are ice blue. And you would notice these. Here's your marking. Iroquois Casual China by Russell Wright. Russell Wright is a great brand. Has some really awesome um, pitchers and plates and serving platters. So I paid about $4 for these. They sold for $22 plus shipping. The buyer is $37.73 all in. And then we sold another lot of three sets of three CVS nasal mist for $37.50. That will be about a $25 profit because they have bought multiple sets. Up next, these are some vintage coffee cups. These are Linux China Stone with the holly pattern there. And you can see there is your pattern, Country Holly by Linux. So I got a message from the buyer after she had already purchased these saying, are you sure those are the coffee mugs, not the teacups? And I'm like, I, so I said, I honestly am not really sure of the difference. So could you give me a measurement or something that would distinguish the coffee cups from the teacups? I was thinking the whole time, why didn't you ask this before you purchased and paid for these? But I didn't say it. Um, so she gave me the measurement. She said the coffee mugs were three and a half inches and these are the correct ones. So luckily I didn't have to cancel the order. That's one thing that drives me crazy. People will buy things and then ask questions after the fact. And if they've already paid, PayPal does not refund the fees anymore. So you are out the fees for that purchase. If it's higher dollar, it can add up. So I got these at the flea market. I paid $5 for the four. They sold for $38 plus shipping. The buyer is $64.56 all in on those. Up next are these really cool <laughs> Hall Crocus pattern. There is a salt and pepper shaker. So these I've had for about six months. So they did take a little longer to sell. I paid about $2 for them in an auction, maybe even a little less, and they sold for $31 plus shipping. The buyer is $48.15 all in. Hall is another great brand for China, and that crocus pattern seems to sell very well. We actually only have, I think, one or two pieces left, if that. And then up next is this Hallmark keepsake ornament. It's getting about the time where your Christmas stuff should start moving better. This one I paid less than a dollar and it sold for $12.14 plus shipping. The buyer $17.22 all in. This one is from 1997. So it is vintage. Um, if you can find new in the box Hallmark ornaments and get them for under a dollar, I would pick them up. Most times you can get at least $10 for, for those plus shipping. Next is this Tampa Bay Lightning hat. Kind of cool brim there. Um... This one I paid a dollar for at a yard sale and I've had it for about seven or eight months. It did take a while to sell and only sold for $6 plus shipping. Buyers $11.57 all in. Still about a $4 profit after fees, but it took forever to sell. So some hats are not the best pickups. Cool. And it, it does have the cover off. Um, I did take a picture and show that. This is a self-guiding auto tour of Yosemite National Park. Um, 
This one is from 1956. So, I mean, not horrible shape, not the best of shape, though. This one sold for $8 plus shipping. The buyer is $12.32 all in. And then up next is a Faults Graph mixing bowl. This one I paid, I think, $2.00. It wasn't a lot in an estate sale, so I did buy, make a bulk buy, but it was also 50% off day. So this pattern here that you see is Yorktown. And this bowl sold for $15 plus shipping. The buyer's $33.06 all in. What are you doing? So up next, this is a really cool scarf here and it is not branded, but it does say that it is 100% polyester made in Italy. So I did list it individually rather than in one of my scarf lots. And this one sold for $17.99 plus shipping. The buyer is $21.99 all in. Up next is this really cool vineyard house, Country Inn. Coloma, California. Um, this is a, a like a restaurant kind of map. It like it tells some information, and then it's got the menu there, which is really cool. And breakfast and dinner. So this one wasn't even listed for maybe four hours. And it sold for $15.89 plus shipping. The buyer's $21.24 all in on that. Of the leather chaps. These are from Pepper. So these did get damaged. They got mold damage if you guys see. Not horrible. But I definitely couldn't get the $200 comps which were for in good shape. So I took an offer of $40 plus shipping on these. The buyer is $54.09 all in. Up next, and I've had this for about eight months. I paid 50 cents at a yard sale. This is Crofton Barrow. I think I sold another one of these last week. So just a simple 3X shirt, paid 50 cents. Sold for $10 plus shipping. The buyer is $15.75 all in. Up next is the first of the golf shirts going out. This one is a Jamie Sadik. Is so really bright print. Um, this one is a medium. Most of them were smalls in that lot that I got. I do have my haul video if you missed it. I got a ton of golf stuff. So this one I have fifty cents into, and it sold for twenty nine dollars plus shipping. The buyer is thirty six dollars and ten cents all in. And I will go ahead and show you guys now um, the item that I put on auction and tell you why. So this flag here, and I'll pop a picture up so you guys can see it open. I don't really want to unfold it. Um, it's pretty big. It is um, 35 by 45 inches, and it's not branded. It's cotton. And I found this in a lot with um, bicentennial stuff. It was all from the 1970s and I couldn't find any comps. So I, so I couldn't find comps. I searched by like vertical stripes, searched by Eagle. I searched Google Lens. I searched eBay with photo and I could not find this flag anywhere. But some flags, if they're old, were, I saw comps of one and two thousand dollars, which was crazy. And I knew mine wasn't that old. I figured it was printed in the 1970s. So I did research, look up, and saw that it had 35 stars. So the 35 star flag was from the Civil War time. And I basically listed it as that. So it was the correct flag for 1863. But I did put that it was believed to have been printed in the 1970s. 
So I put this up on auction for $49.99. I paid less than a dollar, probably less than 50 cents. I did put it on auction. And the reason I did that is because I knew some flags sold for super high and it might not be worth anything, but it could be worth a lot. So I, there were no other ones like it. I put it on an auction. I only did a five day. I might have got more if I had done it for longer, but I kind of just wanted it to be done with and I wanted it to end on the weekend. So I had it to end on Saturday at like 5 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you do auctions, definitely pay attention to when you end them. I think weekend afternoon evening is probably your best bet for ending auctions so sometimes i'll do five days sometimes i'll do seven sometimes i'll do ten i want them to end on the weekend so flags are very popular they're in high demand especially older flags so that's one of the reasons i did this on auction i would say if you're going to auction something i would make sure it's either really rare and you can't find an exact value for it. So if you can't find the value and it's super popular and the price might go above what you would ask. So if I had listed this, I would have listed it for $49.99, which is what I started to bid at. Never start an auction lower than what you're willing to accept. If you started at 99 cents, you need to be ready to accept 99 cents. I always, always add shipping because if that bid stays low, you could be losing money on an auction. I've won a few that people have put up that had free shipping and they were hoping it would go high and it didn't. And I took advantage of that as a reseller. So make sure it's popular. There's a demand for it and you're going to get eyes on it. Because if it's a longer tail item or something that's not very popular, chances are either A, you're going to get one bid or B, you're not going to get any bits at all. So you might as well just start it as buy it now. But if you think that there will be enough people looking for this item, or maybe they have it in safe search, then it's worth it to do an auction, which is what I did. Crazy the last five minutes, um, mostly the last 30 seconds. So paid less than 50 cents for this flag. And it sold for $132.50 plus shipping. The buyer is $155.55 all in on that. Up next, this is a Bose headphones case. So there are no headphones, but this case is just like brand new. It wasn't a box lot I got. So I have about $5 into that. And it sold for $19.19 plus shipping. The buyer's $26.81 all in. Next is this picture here. So this I got in a lot and I thought it was good. And I remember I peeled a Dollar General sticker off. This was a Dollar General picture. But it sold for, I have maybe a dollar or two in. Sold for $14 plus shipping. The buyer's $27.95 all in Next is this pair of Merrill shoes this is again from my most woo, my most recent haul these I believe are brand new no box and the buyer paid $45 for these plus shipping they're $59.28 all in so shipping was more because they're in California and they asked if I could lower it they asked if I could lower it and I told them if they would let me ship in a poly that I would be glad to lower because I could. So I told them I could do pirate ship instead of in a box by using the bag because they're in California. Lowered the shipping. So they paid $59.28, but it would have been more had I not used pirate ship. Uh -oh. Up next is another of the golf shirts. This one is Jamie Sadik. It's black and the neon green there. This one is a size small. So I think me having size small is probably going to make this stuff move a little slower than it would if I had better sizes. And there's that. So this one, same thing, 50 cents in. And it sold for $42 plus shipping the buyers $49.50 all in. So this shirt paid for my lot of over 50 shirts. And then up last, and I'll pop it up there because they are across the room. Are five Russell Wright Iroquois plates. These are 
in ripe apricot rather than the blue. They sold for 15 plus shipping. The buyers 32.39 all in. So that wraps everything up. I hope you guys enjoyed and learned something and hit that like button, subscribe and share with your friends if you think they might be interested in reselling. I'll see you guys next time.